The Jewish people have long been recognized as one of the most prosperous nations in the world, renowned for their remarkable wealth creation and management skills. But what lies at the heart of their financial success? In this captivating video, we will delve into the profound teachings and principles that have propelled Jewish individuals to unparalleled levels of wealth. From the Talmud, we will uncover 10 sacred keys to unlocking prosperity in your own life. These secrets are deeply rooted in Jewish culture and beliefs, offering invaluable guidance on money, wealth, business, management, and even social interaction. Join me as we explore these age-old secrets, providing you with practical strategies and mindset shifts that can be applied to your own financial journey. Each secret is a gem of wisdom, passed down through generations, enabling Jewish individuals to build lasting wealth and leave a powerful legacy. Number 1. Doing Business with Integrity Jewish ethical principles emphasize conducting business honestly and with integrity. They stress the importance of treating others fairly and avoiding dishonest practices. Jewish teachings strongly condemn actions such as deception, collusion, and price-fixing. These practices are viewed as harmful and unethical, as they exploit and harm customers. Jewish business people, inspired by their faith and teachings, are highly respected for their ethical conduct in the business world. Their commitment to integrity and fairness earns them trust and admiration. They strive to build relationships based on honesty and fairness, which contribute to long-term success and a positive reputation. Number 2. The Jewish Ethic of Work, Generosity, and Self-Sufficiency In Jewish culture, Poverty is not seen as a sign of righteousness like it may be in some other beliefs. Instead, there is a strong emphasis on avoiding poverty and actively seeking employment opportunities. This core value promotes a strong work ethic and a sense of personal responsibility, which serve as a solid foundation for achieving success in life. Additionally, there is a cultural norm among Jewish people to be generous and give back to others. It is common for individuals to set aside a portion of their earnings for charitable and philanthropic purposes. This act of giving is considered an important moral duty and helps support those in need and contribute to the betterment of society. However, self-sufficiency is also highly valued within Jewish teachings. While giving is encouraged, dependence on charity or becoming a burden on the community is discouraged. Instead, the focus is on individuals taking initiative working hard, and making responsible financial decisions to avoid relying on others for support. Number 3. European Jews and Property Ownership Throughout history, Jewish people in Europe have faced obstacles when it comes to owning land. This goes back to the medieval times when there were restrictions on their ability to own property. Despite these challenges, Jewish communities found other ways to build wealth and prosper. They focused on engaging in trade and commerce, which means buying and selling goods. By being involved in trade and commerce, Jewish individuals were able to adapt and find success. They became skilled in business and developed valuable services that were in demand wherever they settled. This adaptability provided a safety net for Jewish communities, as their skills and expertise made them sought after and respected in the places they lived. So, even though Jewish people were not allowed to own land, they found alternative paths to build wealth and contribute to society. Number 4. Financial Opportunities and Religious Restrictions In the Middle Ages, a long time ago, Christians believed that it was a sin to charge interest on money they lent to others. This belief made it difficult for Christians to get involved in jobs related to finance, like lending money. However, Jewish people did not have the same religious restrictions, so they were able to work in money-lending businesses. Because Jewish people were allowed to lend money with interest, they became quite successful in this field. They were able to make a good amount of money from these lending businesses. Over time, this success led to certain beliefs and stereotypes about Jewish people and their involvement in finance. Even though these religious restrictions are not as common today, the stereotypes that developed during the Middle Ages still exist. Some people may still have certain ideas or beliefs about Jewish people and money lending because of the historical role they played in this field. It's important to remember that stereotypes are not accurate representations of a whole group of people, 
and it's not fair to judge individuals based on these stereotypes. Number 5. Leading the way in banking. Jewish communities, using their knowledge in finance, were brave enough to start the first banks in Europe. These banks offered important services like handling transactions, transfers, and everyday financial needs. They also continued to lend money with interest. This was a big contribution to the growing financial system of the continent. However, their success made some people jealous and led to the unfair rise of anti-Semitic feelings throughout history. People who were jealous or prejudiced started to develop negative attitudes towards Jewish people because of their achievements in banking. It's important to remember that these attitudes are unjust and not based on truth. Number 6. Knowledge and Success According to a study conducted by the Pew Research Center in 2016, Jewish people are considered the most educated religious group worldwide. On average, Jewish individuals receive about 13.4 years of schooling, which is more than any other religious group. They also hold 61% of post-secondary qualifications, like university degrees or diplomas. In comparison, Christians rank as the second most educated group, with an average of 9.3 years of schooling. This means that Jewish people, on average, have more education and knowledge than many others. Having a higher level of education can bring many benefits. For Jewish individuals, it often leads to better job opportunities and increased earning potential. With their knowledge and qualifications, they have an advantage in the job market and can pursue higher paying professions. It's important to note that these findings are based on averages and do not apply to every individual. There are talented and educated individuals in every religious group. Education is a valuable tool that can help people succeed regardless of their religious background. Number 7. Helping Each Other Succeed Jewish people have a strong tradition of supporting and helping one another, which may have developed because they have experienced being marginalized in the past. They take pride in sharing their wealth to benefit their community. This means that they are happy to use their resources to help others in their community. In Jewish communities, there is a mindset of mutual aid, which means that everyone supports and helps each other. They want each member of their community to succeed and do well. This support can take many forms. For example, they may come together to support a new business idea or provide assistance during difficult times. Jewish communities have a special emphasis on taking care of the poor and vulnerable. Their religious laws emphasize the importance of respecting and protecting those who are less fortunate. This creates a strong sense of community upliftment, where everyone works together to improve the well-being of all members. Number 8. Overcoming Challenges with Strength Jewish people have a long history of facing and overcoming difficult challenges with incredible resilience. It is part of their nature to stay strong and determined, both in their spiritual beliefs and in practical aspects of life. When they encounter setbacks in business or other areas, Jewish individuals do not give in to self-pity. Instead, they adopt a problem-solving attitude. Rather than seeing obstacles as permanent roadblocks, Jewish people view them as temporary hurdles. They actively look for solutions and strategies to overcome these challenges. This mindset of perseverance and determination is a defining characteristic of the Jewish community. It helps them to achieve their goals and thrive in various endeavors. No matter how tough the situation may be, Jewish individuals find the strength to keep moving forward. They draw upon their inner resilience and rely on their problem-solving skills to navigate through difficult times. This resilience has been passed down through generations, allowing Jewish people to overcome adversity and emerge stronger. By staying focused and determined, Jewish individuals are able to find creative solutions and opportunities amidst challenges. Their ability to persevere and bounce back from setbacks is a valuable trait that helps them succeed in their endeavors and lead fulfilling lives. Number 9. Teaching Money Skills from Generation to Generation Jewish families recognize the importance of teaching their children about money and finances from a young age. Unlike some cultures where talking about money is seen as taboo, Jewish households encourage open discussions about financial matters. To educate their children about money management, 
Jewish parents often use a practical approach called the five jars. This method involves having five jars, each representing different categories. Tithe, giving a portion to charity, giving and offering, saving, investing, and spending. By using the five jars, children learn valuable money skills. They understand the significance of allocating funds to different areas responsibly. They learn about the importance of giving back to the community through charity, saving for future needs, investing to grow their wealth, and making wise spending decisions. This generational financial education instills in Jewish children a sense of responsibility and helps them develop the knowledge and skills to make informed financial choices. By teaching these lessons early on, Jewish families empower their children to manage their money wisely and set a strong foundation for their financial future. Number 10. Managing Wealth Wisely The Talmud, a compilation of teachings from rabbinic masters, provides valuable guidance on managing wealth with a spiritual focus. Jewish individuals recognize the importance of using these teachings to make informed decisions about their finances. One important principle that the Talmud emphasizes is diversification. It suggests spreading wealth across different assets instead of putting all of one's money into a single investment. This strategy helps to minimize risk. An old saying, don't put all your eggs in one basket, holds true in the world of wealth management. By following the wisdom shared in the Talmud, Jewish individuals approach wealth management with a holistic perspective. They understand that managing wealth goes beyond mere financial gains. They consider the spiritual aspects of their decisions and strive for balance and stability. Through this approach, Jewish individuals seek to protect and grow their wealth while also maintaining a sense of responsibility and ethical considerations. They understand that effective wealth management involves not only accumulating assets, but also preserving them for the long term. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss an upload and you can enjoy the excellent content I send your way.